Let's take a closer look at how I, as a teacher, can provide private feedback for my students on their video responses to a topic in one of my grids. So here I am in my educator account inside my grids tab, and I'm going to select one of my grids. Once inside my Social 8 Reflections grid, I'm going to select the topic in my educator dashboard where my students have provided video responses. And now to provide private feedback, I'm going to click on a student's video response. A three. Let's just pause that response as it automatically starts to play. Here I can see that another student, another classmate has added a reply. I'm not going to use the reply feature. If I use the reply feature as a teacher, my reply is going to be visible to all the members of my grid. So instead, if I wish to add a video for feedback, I can click this green button here to add private video feedback. This video that I create will only be available to this particular student. Instead of adding video feedback, I can always use the grading rubric that was automatically added when I set up the topic. Remember that when you're setting up the topic and you're making adjustments to the topic settings, you can always enter in a customized rubric where you can generate the criteria. In addition to scoring uh, this student's uh, video on say ideas and performance, I can also leave meaningful and timely comments to provide more specific and detailed feedback for the student. And just as my students' classmates can, I can like this video by clicking on the emoji mic drop. Once I've added in the feedback for my student, I simply, let's just add some feedback here. I can then go ahead and either copy the feedback link and email this link directly to my student or post it in a private comment in their Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. Or I can select the email feedback to students button and that will send the feedback directly to that student's ECSD email account.